sociales. Hey, yo, welcome back to uh, our, our More Presents podcast. Shout out to the good people at Radio 22, Studio 22. Shout out to Manny. Shout out to Dash. Um, I'm back. This is number, oh, I never know what number it is. Um, we're going to go with 99. We're going to go with 99. It's number 999. <laughs> okay. And and I got a special guest for a special episode since it's episode 999. I got my homegirl, Sheena Ray, in the building. How you doing, baby? What's good? What's good? I'm good. How are you? See how things come all the way full circle and shit? Look, right? I'm trying to tell you. Right? It's crazy. Hey, so about two years ago, I was minding my business. I was pushing these uh, 12 books in 12 months, and I was out here trying to do my thing, and people kind of getting abreast of it here, and then Sheena called me and said, hey, um, I'm down here at Radio 22. Let me give you a, uh, an interview because you're doing good things in these communities, and I thought that was dope. And I took, me and my homeboy Harp came down there. Yeah. Remember that was yep. fun because Harp was with me, right? Yeah. And um, leaving up out of there, I had a ball. I had a great time doing the podcast. I appreciate you putting me on, giving me one of my first really dope interviews for podcasts. You know what I'm saying? For sure. And when I left up out of there, um, did a little politicking before you knew it, I had my own podcast with Look, the good people at Radio 22. How about that? I walked in there and I was like, boss. We got some slots open. <laughs> I was like, because this month, he got the voice. It was perfect. It and, was perfect. and the storytelling, you know, I was like, he's got the voice. He can, yeah, he got this. Oh, let me put my radio voice on. This is R.R. Moore, Radio 22. <laughs> that sounds I get real like a for you pornographic you voiceover. <laughs> I also do that. Check my OnlyFans now. <laughs> oh, hey. Add me at. <laughs> hey, shout out to you, though. We, you took, so, okay, so when I first started, what was, you, you had one, you had one slot at Radio 22 and you were doing what? Uh, who's Next. So our show, right. one of our shows called Who, Who's Next. So it's about local hip hop and, mm -hmm. you know, people that are doing things in the hip hop community mm -hmm. in Madison. So mm -hmm. like, hence the reason that you came up. Yeah. So, yep. you know, cause it's not just hip hop because it's, it's an art form. Yeah. Yeah. People think hip hop is just rappers. No, but hip hop's not. a whole culture. So it's, it's more than just the guy that raps. But you know what I mean? the problem is, is that hip hop music has changed. Now it's like this drill music and this yeah. crazy shit, but yeah. anybody who looks historically at hip hop, it is poetry. It is yeah, yeah. rhyming and, you know, like things like that. So, like, historically, that's kind of what it started Absolutely. at. So. Absolutely. And even my um, my writing is highly influenced by hip-hop. Oh, mean, yeah. Dripping with hip-hop. I don't even know what I'd be like if I was just a reader and a writer. I mean, of books. You know what I mean? Hip-hop has so much influence on the way I write in my stage performance and the flow yeah, yeah. You know? and i ain't never been in a booth trying to rap in my life but spoken word wouldn't be what it is if it wasn't for dope ass hip-hop that i grew up on straight up well and then the dope ass hip-hop came from spoken word because that's yeah. that's what it is it's spoken word Before people are telling beat, their was, truth yeah 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 yeah. and it goes far back to i, I remember um uh, i don't even want to quote people because i don't know their names but i remember way before hip-hop even started there was there's a debate on where hip-hop started you know what I mean? Because it didn't start with the rap of the like the Sugar Hill Gang, like the right. early hip hop. You know, but before that, there was always even Dolomite and okay. those stories back in the day. That was that was hip hop. You know what I mean? Way down in the valley deep, the signified monkey stepped on the lion's feet or whatever the fuck that was. Yeah, you know I don't know nothing about that. Even that, that was dope hip hop back in the day. Like that. No, 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 no. <laughs> Mm -mm, they eat you like fruit snacks. Now you got, now you got, so tell us about your podcast life now. Tell us what you got going on. Uh, this is the perfect time to interview you. Perfect. What you got going on? I mean, I took a little break yeah. because my personal life was shitty in the toilet. So. We missed you. Thank you. It was obvious you wouldn't I here. missed y'all. I was at home, you know, crawled up in a ball in the fetal position, minding my own business. And what happened? You was taking a shower, crying in the shower. Yeah. Okay. So I was a little tapped out for a while. So we yeah. just started back again. And we actually got a few interviews, like, kind of locked in, ready to drop. So we got a lot of good shit coming up. What's the name of the new one you got coming up? So the new one is Table Talk. We shot yeah. the first one last week. Yeah. You know, we get talking real crazy about this shit in Madison. What's, you know, what's the purpose of Table Talk? What's it, what's it, so what's it about? 
because we need to talk about community issues, right. you know, and it's it doesn't have anything to do with music. We're you know, it's just okay. we need to talk about our culture and our community in Madison and the things that are happening that the news isn't covering because either they're not comfortable or it's not appropriate for them. It doesn't fit their narrative. So it's they're not giving us the information they're supposed to be. So this table talk is for your- for those uncomfortable conversations, I guess. Yeah. Right? So for the community to come in and, and talk about things and, you know, like constructively, like adults, not, right. you know, get to cutting up and arguing and acting crazy. So, you know, if you feel some type of way about the issue that we're talking about, I, I invite everybody to chime in. Mm, that's therapeutic. You know, and it's for people to come in and talk about their experiences and what they've gone through with, you know, whatever the topic is. And because, again, the media only when you do a news interview, yeah. they sit you down for an hour and they cut out, you know, 60 seconds of that whole hour. Y'all just talked. So you it does not relay the story correctly. OK, so shout out, shout out to you because it's so important to be able to. Like, if, if I don't have the outlet to tell my story, then my story don't get told. And exactly. it's like it's not even, doesn't even exist. You know what I mean? Yeah. So and that's necessary. Granted, I, I may never make no type of difference, and that's okay. But for people to think that, you know, their story, or not even think, but their story is being heard by somebody. Right, right. You know, sometimes that alone can just be validating. And, like... Man, we've all been through some fucked up ass shit. Yeah. Look, yeah. and we still telling them about yeah. it. So let's talk about it. That table talk's brilliant because like like I alluded to a minute ago, the therapy, the therapeutic, the being able to speak on your problems. Yeah. If somebody is hearing you, somebody's gonna listen to you, somebody it reaches the ears. If it's not the ears you want, someone can hear it, that's a big deal. Well, For people and we that, need that, to that normalize have no one to listen to them, you know what I mean? Talking. Yeah. You know, like it's okay to ask for help. That's one of my biggest downfalls is asking for help. I don't do it. Yeah. I can't do it. It's tough. Yeah, so it. for men, it's 10 times no, harder. I'm and it's, for black for men, it's way, way harder. Like, you yeah. you know, there's this unexpected burn it, burden you got to carry. And we have to change that narrative. That's a fact. Because That's a fact. that, you know, is not helpful. You know what you're saying? That I was doing... Um, so I write a lot, whatever, poems. And you doing that little like pen that. thing? Yeah. You know how I do. Yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, um, mm-hmm. Some of the things I write are like geared towards um, mental health, uh, particularly black men's mental health, because that's what I know about. Right. You know I mean? Yeah. And and I wrote those this with the future in mind. Like I want to tackle that. I want to get more involved in mental health and black men's mental health, because what you said was so so honest and true. We don't have anybody to talk to. We don't have... We don't, anybody have, we don't have anyone to listen to us more than anyone to talk to because it's a difference. But we don't have anybody to listen to us but like, okay, I understand yep. what you're saying. So it's like, why bother? You yep. know what I mean? It's just, it's tough. It's tough. It's tough being a, there, a man. There'd be a lot of anger behind that resentment because you can't actually speak on how you feel because then you're a bitch or a pussy yeah. or soft. Or, yeah. And that that's garbage. Come on now. Yeah. And, like, and seriously, we all just need to, like, be able to speak. Absolutely. It's tough being tough. It look, you feel me? It, it it's is. tough being tough all yeah. the time, for real. That's I know I do it all the time. I appreciate poetry because even this last week when I got beat, <laughs> look, you got dog walked, you got the shit beat out of you, you got fucking goat dragged, you got look. She came through and said, "Sit down. I'm going to talk to you about this." Well, since that happened <laughs> while I was there, it was like. Okay, so doing poems, it was two poems that I, I spit that night that I've never spit before. And it was it was fun and it was dope to spit poetry. But those poems, it was like, it was releasing a little bit of tension out of me just to say something out loud that I normally don't get a chance to say. Right. I barely touched on it, but it was, you know, things that happened to me growing up, foster homes and adoption and all that shit. Just to be, just to be able to touch on it in a clever way where I don't have to reveal it, I don't have to dig deep into it, but... I can say it. That's the beginning of me being able to say things I need to say. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. But yeah, if I, if you don't, that's why that table talk is probably so dope. And I'd like to be there one day too. Cause oh, definitely. You, you, 
you want to separate your, your person from your career, right? So yeah. in my career, I'm over here saying certain things, but in real life, I want to say things that don't rhyme and are for the public, but yeah. are for the public. They are I mean? not politically correct. Yeah. They will not make yeah. it on a regular airwave. Yeah. 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 And that's, that's pretty much what it is. So like last week, um, I sat down with Wally and king rick from the black panthers and we talked about ah, you know okay. Quadron being shot by the police yes. and the context behind that and you know the news is not sharing the full story not even close they're barely speaking on it at all Be it's and, over as far as they're concerned uh, right they've oh they think so yeah well no. as far as they're concerned yeah they think you know, so yeah but the way that the media is either not dealing with it or trying to chop it and screw it to their narrative is really disgusting yeah I don't know, dude, and I don't even give a shit about whatever he was doing. He was unarmed and shot at 20 times. Period. He was <sighs> rolled up on by two unmarked vehicles by people in plain clothes yep. while he was on a GPS monitoring device for yes. seven months. Yes. He had an appointment with his PO the next morning at 8 a.m. He was in good standing with his PO. So whatever choices he makes in the community outside of that are f irrelevant right. because— there was no right. reason for that shit. And I'm sorry, but our children are not safe either. If, yeah, we're, if we don't true. talk about this behavior and what's going on, they're going to keep doing the shit and getting away with it yeah. because nobody's doing anything. Yeah, and, and what you're saying about the media, like it's a good thing for places like Radio 22 because waiting on the 6 o'clock news, you're going to get what they want to feed to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? And... What they say, the revolution will not be televised, but it'll still be digitized. Digitized. Look, we can, we can people, stream it. You people know need I mean? to realize that, like, they need to wake the fuck up. That's why the revolution <laughs> won't be televised, because they're not giving you the truth on television. No, you know they're I mean? not. They're just giving you what they think is enough for you and the, the way that they... Oh, it's, just, it's hard when you're getting your information from the source. The source is giving you the information the way they want you to have it. Yep. You know what I mean? I remember when the... um. Years ago, uh, Mike Brown and all that, when it was going on, I would be, you know, like, you could watch the news and get a little bit of news and it'll show you a little stuff. But if you were on Instagram, you could hashtag uh, Mike Brown because everyone that was vi recording it live there were also hashtagged. And now you got a stream of what really, yep. really is happening. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's very That's different. That's why places like these, this is, this outlets like this is so important for the truth, the, the real the bottom line truth, forget yeah. what you read in the newspaper, forget what they told you at 6 o'clock on the TV. That's only a portion of what happened and it's probably t been tainted anyway. So yep. you're doing your thing thing. And then, you know, there's a lot of things that go on out here that the news is just flat ass not reporting. As well. And that is scary too, that like these things that are happening in our community that are somewhat of a danger or a risk are not even making the news at all. Yeah. So trying to shelter us is not helpful either. Yeah, who told him to parent me? I yeah. I, you're supposed to provide me with information so that as an adult I can make an informed decision. Yeah. And you're not doing that, so fuck off. <laughs> right, you're spoon like, feeding you the information so you can take the obvious route. You yeah. You know what I mean? Because it, yeah. it's easier for them. It's like cattle and shit. They treat us like cattle Yeah, no. <laughs> I've never been good at that. I've always been like the rebellious in the corner, like, you can't conform me and tell me shit. <laughs> No, that's dope. We need that. Um, I expect to be invited to that soon and very fucking oh, soon. Oh, you know that. <laughs> like I said, we just shot the first one. So yeah. we, you know, I'm like. How often is it when, how often you be doing this? Every Sunday night. Every week? Yep. Ooh, okay. So last week was the first one, but we're not recording one tonight. I don't know what, I think we're like, we need to come up with. So I have it mapped out on all these different topics mm -hmm. and we need to kind of like sit down and figure out who like you know you dewan latour mm -hmm. the, you know there's certain people in the community for certain topics i right. feel like right um but i also want to find people on the completely opposite end of the spectrum so that right. we can have that conversation like the difficult part like not entertainers, not in the spotlight no, at all. No, just regular smegular not people. people yeah, right? yeah, just regular ass Karens, yeah. goofy ass white people come in here and sit down and and tell me what you think is <laughs> right though. What right, you though, what, that's what cool. you think is going on? <clears throat> that's cool. So we know we come to you for this unfiltered raw, right? Look, that's a, like, but that's the way it's been since the first the first day that I started here three years ago. 
Yeah, but you were you got artists, and artists have a little bit of training of what to say and what not to no, say. No, the fuck they of, don't. No, no. <laughs> Especially not local <laughs> artists. Local artists, like it's very like a lot of times I'm their first stop. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. you know, then they'll hit like you know ninety three one, and then they'll try in Chicago and Milwaukee. But you know, you got to pay to get on the radio there. Yep, yep. It, look, ain't nobody fucking with you for less than like fifteen hundred. So yes. no. it's ridiculous. So it's like you know, the goal is to get the local artists ready for like that bigger picture, that next step. Right. So to you know, for them to be able to come in and sit down and kind of be disciplined in the conversation that's smart that's smart i was uh i was a little less seasoned in than i was now so i can i definitely can get it i've had more interviews and podcasts since you but i was i was i was less seasoned a few years ago than i am now we'll yeah. just say that you know i mean, mean? <laughs> but it's it's supposed to be fun you're supposed to enjoy it yeah. so like yeah. it yeah. it can't it can't be scripted like, you know that's why I, um that's why the the show that I got killed at and all that that's why it was my that's why it's my last one for a little while because because you lost miserably nah it was so gonna be my gonna, last one before that out? I already knew it was gonna be my last <laughs> one I knew it was my last show for a while it's Your not my last, last one why What's it's not my last you? one but it's my last one for a while because it's not as fun as it was before it's more work it's more I mean let me let me retract that it's just as fun as it was before but it's also more work. And but is that I because you're the I, promoter now? Yeah, yeah. So that's that's yeah, why. That too. Plus, I think I got what I needed out of it. I needed I needed to um, I needed to push some twelve books in twelve months with a flurry. I needed to have enough. It did what I needed it to do for me. You feel me? Right. So since it did what I needed to do for me, and what I need to do next, I need more time for it. And I can't be doing a poetry show every month and still have the time to do the other things that I have to need to do, want to do. You know what I mean? So for now, I'm not going to do it every month. I'm not done. I'm definitely going to do sport, spoken word again because we need that culture to be thriving around here. And I'm one of the we people that makes it that. thrive. We I definitely really do. do. So I'm not done with it. I'm just done with it for a moment, just trying to get my little brain together and what I'm trying to push my next move on, which needs a lot of work for me and then once i get the ball rolling i'm comfortable with it then yeah i'm pop back out do some spoken word again i ain't done would it be better if you just showed up to perform and didn't have to do yes. all the back work yes like as far as being the promoter yes it would that would be so if i could because i i usually write if i'm if i'm gonna do some poetry i'm knowing i'm i might have some poems i know but i always find or write new poems and I'm terrible with memorization, so I spend so much time having to reread work, and reread, memorize, yep. work, mm -hmm. memorize, work, memorize, and then I got to promote. I got to. I I don't want to do all that. It's just too much for me right now. But with the other things I have going on, you know what I mean. Being a promoter is so, not for everybody. Oh my goodness. So you know, we were throwing hip hop shows and doing that for a while before COVID, and it, it definitely is not for the weak. That's nah. for sure. There's so many hats you got to wear when you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to do your own little situation. Like, if it was just me and my talent and I could just fo f focus on that, yeah, but that ain't it. No. Well, in I these gotta venues, like... I got to network with the right people, the venues, every uh, Look, <laughs> these venues, they're bogus. Yeah, they really... They, they just are. They're bogus. Yeah. Like, they want so much money to do these shows. Like... Yeah. Bro, there's no way you're going to make that money back. You got to charge yeah. 30, 40, 50 dollars at the door and yeah. then people look at you like you're an yeah, asshole and it's like, dude. Yeah, yeah. Like you don't realize that what the ticket is to come up yeah. in here like, damn. And it's because it's a hip hop event or, yeah. you know, a predominantly black event that yeah. they want to upcharge. I got a homeboy right now who's been trying to buy a venue or rent venues and buy venues either or for months and months and months and the problem is what he's trying to do is get a, like a lounge or a club. And he was telling me that. And then finally the other day he was telling me, man, I'm just going to, at this point, I'm just going to work my way around and go find me a restaurant. Because it's so all what about is he the wording. To do? It's all about the wording. Like what you just said when you try to do some hip hop stuff. Yeah. Uh, no, we're not letting that. Yeah. So it's the wording of what you're walking in here looking for out the gate. Uh, yeah. A lounge. Oh, no, I don't know what that means. I mean, the culture hanging out together, yeah. having a drink. No, a bar. Nope, that means the culture being there. Yep. A restaurant, okay, maybe we can allow that. You have to, you got to tiptoe around what you want to get to get what you want. Ain't that crazy? There, so there are <laughs> places that he could rent potentially. Like I've seen it 
other places have lounges and stuff like that. The only downfall they had is that, unfortunately, they just didn't, they couldn't make the money to sustain it. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, the liquor licensing board. Ah, oh, that's such a hassle. It, man, that's just like a damn conspiracy. Yeah. <laughs> it's a round that table of people that, conspiracy. That, that debate your worth. You know what it's, I mean? It's a down, it's a round table of older generation yep. white people. Yeah. And as soon as they hear hip hop, it's automatically no. Yeah, they judge you by what you look like and the necklace you got on look, and whatever. That's you know? why yeah. we we have this great thing called complexion connection. Yeah, where you walk yeah. in there, oh my god, <laughs> hi, yeah, we're just going to throw a birthday party, oh my god. Since you and then we in walk there. in that bitch and it's busting. <laughs> Fuck you, thought it was, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I may, I may have lost a few friends at venues for that. <laughs> I mean, but I, I always make sure there's security, metal detectors. Yeah. Like, I do my due diligence, you, you know do. what I'm saying? Because I'm do. not trying to die. Fuck. You do. You are definitely an ally. We appreciate you. So, we like, you, you know, me. I do my little due diligence. But, yeah, we finna. Well, maybe that's something that we'll have to work on. Maybe I'll have to start doing the promoting part, and then you can do the performing part. Because I don't want to do it at all. But, but but you should do it because nobody else is doing. I know, this. I know, and I and and, and that's what I. And so so I always always go like. I don't want to say I'm leaving it alone because that's a lie. I'm just right. leaving it alone for a moment. I will be back. You know what I mean? Because it's needed. It's needed, and nobody, not enough, not being arrogant or cocky, but nobody can really bring the culture of spoken word out Look, like I've been able to do lately. You know what I mean? You know, hopefully somebody else about might it. be able to do it, but <laughs> right now it's a void out there without me. And once you guys. Once myself and you guys get tired of it, then I'll be back out here and we'll do some more shit. I'm licking my wounds, man. I got my ass full. Let me sit still for a little Look, while. So man. it was a paint and poetry, correct? Yeah, yeah. And That's what these last three in a row were. Look, that yes. turnout was phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's doing pretty good. And it's not the same crowd from... There's a few people that have been there all the time. Well, not a few, but there's a there's a group of people that always are there. But those other people, it's always new people. It's always dope. I love it. But it was a good cry, a yeah. good vibe. Like, it was it was cool. Yeah. And, you and know. And it got I, recorded, so shout out to Radio 22. You can go to Radio 22's uh, YouTube. YouTube channel. Yep. And it's right there. Go watch. Shout out to like Miguel because he be on that shit. You know what I mean? Miguel was there holding it down. Good yeah. looking, man. He appreciates you, I bro. Swear. Appreciate Look, you. Look, man, yeah. huh, you know. Because that camera, I don't do that. Yeah, no. and mm -mm. next time that we got to make me. sure you didn't. Right. Manny, next time we need you with your camera skills again. I like well, the editing, too. We got some it, good argument in the front, in uh, the beginning. I'm, yep, still, both I'm yep. still working on yep. getting him out here again because, you know, he be, uh, uh, I'm like, <laughs> look, the game needs you, though. <laughs> the game, it's calling, it's knocking. Uh, You're not finna open the door? Come on, sir. So so what you got besides, that? That's the that's the big thing you got coming up to table talk, right? Yep. Not red table talk. I don't know why I want to no, say red table talk. Because that's the Jada why Pinkett. Say, that's why. Yep. That's so why. like that. <laughs> but what that's I the was, vibe then, right? But you know what, though? I didn't even think about it or want to start doing it until he showed me the pictures of this place. Yeah. And I saw this table. This it was right this, here? Yeah. And yeah. like to me, this is like when you go to a restaurant with your family and y'all sit down, like you sit at, this is like, you know. Yeah. So it's comfortable and it's like. Promotes conversation too. Yeah. 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 So I'm like, okay, inviting. well, let's table talk. And then the Jada Pinkett <laughs> thing, I was like, you know what? That's finna work. We finna do that. I'll come up there and talk about my entanglement situations I be having. Ooh, <laughs> entanglements, huh? No, not me. I won't be talking about them. It's my business. I'm telling, not telling nobody. I'm just playing. Look, you're a Gemini, so I know you got some entanglement <laughs> no, issues. No, no, okay? no. That's the old me. This is mm -hmm. the new me. Look, so money long, bag, yo, me versus me looking ago. ass. Kind of. Yeah. Kind of uh -huh. Gemini. Look, man, I appreciate you, man. Um... I, I, um, what do you, if we both have podcasts, you my sister podcast, is that what they For were sure. calling? I my mean, yeah. All right, so I'm every two weeks. Um, we got other things going on down here with Radio 22 that I'm working on, and I will tell you about them when they are ready. But I just wanted to make sure I brought you on here, let you tell these people where you've been, what you've been up to. Is there anything else you wanted to no. plug or speak no, on? No, no, no. No, tap in, tune in, you know. Tap, tap in, us. tune in. That was easy. I don't got, I don't got, I'm not telling y'all what I got coming up next. In two weeks, I'll be able to tell y'all what's coming up next. Y'all just oh, stay tuned. Shit. I'll be back in two weeks with updates and new things I got going on. And 
Um, thanks for shopping. I mean, thanks for stopping by Radio 22. Thank it's you for true. coming to see me, Sheena. You know that. I'll be at your podcast as soon as you let me. You'll be back on this one again as soon as you want to, right? You know that. All right, thank you. Love you. Peace. Bye. Now listen.